the clock ticked quietly in the corner of the room the soap flow of the lamp casting shadow on the walls while that curled up on the leather couch flipping to a book absentmentedly she was now focused of how could she be her mind was occupied with thoughts of her husband the young he was the most fair mafia boss in the city now for his cold ruthless demeanor she was not blind to the danger that surrounded him and the tonight she had heard rumors of a dangerous deal that had gone south her heart is with very hoping he would return safely but also fearing what kind of state he would be in when he arrived Suddenly she heard the unmistakable sound of the front door cracking open. Her breath hissed as she stood up from the couch clutching her book tightly to her chest. The heavy footstep echoed to the hallway and moments later, Ding appeared. He was a mess. His usually sharp, well-grown appearance was replaced by this heavy chair and Under shirt and a low tie hanging lazily around his neck, his lips were slightly parted, and his eyes, those piercing dark eyes, looked wild, cloudy with alcohol. "The young, you are home," Fine stammered, her voice barely above a whisper. Ting's gaze locked on her immediately. His lips curling into a slow, dangerous smirk as he stared towards her. Beautiful wife, he said, his voice low and thick with intoxication. He reached out, kept catching himself on the wall, and then stumbled forward again, closer this time. Why are you still awake? I was worried about you. Van admitted, taking a cautious step back as he approached. Her heart pounded in her chest as she took in this form so strong, intimidating, and impossibly alluring. Ting chuckled darkly, shaking his head, worried about me. His eyes gleamed with amusement as he stood before her, towering over her small frame. You should be warned. I'm dangerous. He whispered, his voice sending chills down her spine. Wine swallowed hard. Her throat suddenly dry. She could smell the alcohol on him, mixed with his usual intoxication, intoxic. Getting scent of leather and spice, she had seen him drunk before, but tonight there was something different, something darker in his eyes. The young, you should rest. Wen suggested softly, trying to maintain her composure, but her words seemed to only amuse him further. Rest. He tilted his head, his gaze tracking over her body, swept slowly. As if seeing her for the first time, no, no, tonight. He stepped even closer, his hand reaching out to brush a strand of hair from her face. I want you. Vines, but caught in her throat as his hand lingered on her cheek. His thumbs and lips tasting her skin. Her body battered her as she was running down her spine at his touch. You are drunk, she whispered. Her voice shaking. You don't know what you are saying. Ting's eyes darkened as he leaned in, his lips brushing against her ear. I know exactly what I am saying. He murmured, his voice sending a wave of fear to her. I want my wife right now. His voice sent a jolt of desire to her, despite the fear she felt. She tried to step back again, but Ting's hand shot out, grabbing her wrist and pulling her against his chest. His skin was firm but not painful, and his body was warm, so warm. The young Van Bather was trembling. He leaned down, his lips barely inches from hers. His breath hot against her skin. I knew you, Van. He whispered, his voice low and dry with desire. Don't deny me tonight. Van saw taste her mind battling with the conflicting emotions surging inside her. She was scared. He was unpredictable. When he was young, but the way he was looking at her, the intensity of his kiss made it impossible to resist. The young, please. Please wait," he growled, his lips brushing against her as he spoke. His hands slid around her waist, pulling her flush against him. "Tell me, you want this?" Vines would respond before her mind could catch up. Her hands seized up, gripping the front of his shirt as she looked into his eyes. "I, I do," she whispered, her voice barely audible. A satisfied smirk took that Ting's lips as he closed the gap between them, catching her lips in a deep dash kiss. His hand roamed her 
dash pulling her even closer as if he could not get enough of her the kiss was possessive almost a spit and the fine found her side melting into the despite that always seemed to surround him he lifted her effortlessly carrying her towards the bedroom without breaking the kiss his lips moved against hers with a fire intensity his hand exploring every inch of her body as if he was claiming her all over again As they reached the bedroom, Tang sat her down on the bed. His eyes dark and filled with lust as he gazed down at her. His breathing was heavy, his chest rising and falling with each breath. You are mine, he growled, his voice deep and possessive. As he leaned over her, no one can, no one else can have you, wine, only me. Wines are fluttered at his first, even though they were laced with a dangerous undertone that come with his mafia life. She knew he was possessive or protective, even, but there was something about the way he claimed her that made her feel safe, cherished, despite the fear that lingered in the back of her mind. Things had moved to her, tugging at the hem of her dash as he still down to her dash, leaving a trail of heart in her wake. One cast her fingers tingling in his hair as he kissed her skin. He touched in ting ting, a fire inside her ting. She moaned softly. Um, her voice filled with the need. He dashed in response, his hand sliding her, kissing her dash with a rough yet tender kiss. I need you, Vine, he whispered, his lips brushing against her collarbone. Vine's breath hitched as his hand moved, as his dash sent tears of flair to her body. She wanted him, needed him as much as he needed her. They close fell to the floor, they started in the heat of the moment, things and were everywhere. His lips never leaving her dash as he explored her. With Ara, you are mine, he repeated his voice a low growl as he hovered over her. His dark eyes looked on hers, only mine. Wines are bounded in her chest as she looked up at him, her body trembled with desire. She knew she should be scared. He was dangerous, unpredictable, but in this moment, all she could feel was the overwhelming need to be with him. I'm yours, she whispered, her voice barely audible. A satisfied smirk spread across the young lips as he leaned down, catching her lips in a deep, passionate kiss. His hand moved to her dash, pulling her closer as he claimed her completely. The night was filled with their shared breath, whispered words of passion, and the sound of their hearts beating as one. The instant was bored of and tender, his love for her evident in every moment, every kiss, every whispered promise. And for that night, the safety of his arm won't forget about the danger. That lurk outside her mansion, all that matter was seemed the man she loved, the man who loved her in return, even if his love was possessive and all-consuming. The End